Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for more it's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to show you how you can connect a Roland Fountain 06 to another device, in this case an iPod, to drive external sound. So let's start first of all zooming into the display of the Fountain. As you can see I'm inside zone view, but um, the first thing I want to show you is uh, click on the menu button go into system okay and then where it said zone internal and external control make sure you have the advanced setting set up of course you can do it without it but i want to show you the advanced uh, mode as well when you finish click on the right button and then click on exit of course i've already done that so i click exit twice let me press zone view again so as you can see i have a normal concert ground let's hear it Okay, now let me show you the connectivity. So if we move these on the right hand side, you can see here I have an iPad. Okay, and this iPad has, is connected. To, it's an iPad Pro, by the way. Um, it's connected by USB-C. I have this adapter, and this adapter goes first to the USB uh, fountain, okay, through this uh, uh, connection here. And then from this connection here as well, it goes into this focus right audio interface. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want the audio coming out from the iPad going through the audio interface and going to a mixer. And I needed uh, to use this uh, um, adapter to ensure I have also MIDI messages coming through the USB output. Now, in terms, if we move right up here, in terms of audio, I have a mixer, a Berigen mixer. As you can see, I have here the iPad coming in into here and I have the phantom coming into here as well and then I have the outputs going through uh, different uh, uh, speakers uh, like that one that you see over there the Roland okay so let's start let's focus now on the controller again as you can see I have selected the first zone and it is in red so if I play now you will hear of course uh, the ground uh, concert piano from uh, uh, the fountain. If uh, I'm going to click that zone to deselect it and I play, so what you're going to hear now is a sound that comes from the fountain but also comes from the iPad ear from this preset called Smooth Octopad from ISM from Arturia. Okay, so now let's go back to the fountain and let's click again the zone to highlight in red. Now I click on the shift button, hold on the shift button and click on uh, that zone again. It becomes green. When it becomes green, you will hear only the sound which is coming from the iPod. So if we go back to the iPod and I was to change the preset like so, You can hear I have changed the preset and let's go back to the previous one. Okay, perfect. Let's go back now to the phantom. So if I again click on the green button, now I hear them both again. And you see it is flashing yellow. Now, if I press the shift button again in the same zone, now it will become yellow. In this mode, I will hear them both. So both the phantom audio and also the audio coming from the iPad. Which is, of course, the same as unleading it. Okay, so, and if you click shift in the zone again, you can go back to the red setting where you hear only the phantom. So hopefully the explanation is clear. So when it is in red, you hear only the phantom. When it's in green, you hear only the external sound. And when you are in yellow, of course, you hear them both. And when they're not lit, of course, you hear them both as well. Okay, now I want to show you something else. I want to show you how you can apply the same concept to something that you have recorded. So let's select this uh, thing which I have created and I will uh, have another tutorial which will show you how, which I will show you how to do that. So let's uh, click zone view. I have on the first track the placophone. 
So let's click play. And hopefully you can hear that placophone. So I apply the same concept. I press shift and then on the first zone and it will say external, click play. As you can see, it says EXT for external down there. So in this case, the pattern that is being played is using the external sound from the iPad instead of the internal sound. So if I go to pattern again, um, you can see that it says EXT uh, there. And let me show you now, play it again, and I change the uh, preset on the iPad. Okay, I hope you found this useful and as always see you at the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye.